Okay, sorry about the delay there. I was trying to adjust my settings. Anyway, so we have a match between Rymark and Jasper on Melt. So, get that started, really not much to say about it. Rymark, however, actually I will say one thing. Rymark is a real jumpy enthusiast. As in, really likes the jump bot factory. See if that's used now, but probably will be. There's no reason not to. Anyway, let's get the game started. And Rymark indeed going for the jump bot factory. Jump bot factory and quite a lot of resources. Now this map is kind of macro-y map. There's a lot of, there's a lot of space. It's a 16 by 16. A lot of room to actually build up as, well, a large army map. But at the same time, there's a lot of terrain that's laid out that is really hard to get through. So at the same time, you can build very large armies. And Jasper going for spider bot factory, which is quite appropriate for all the cliffs here. Well, like I said, Rymark going for Jumpbot Factory. I I mean, there is bot passable. It is perfectly possible for a single bot to get around here through all the green sections throughout the map. It's just a little bit more difficult for everything other than spider bots. Spider bots kind of an exception, everything else not so much. I mean Rymark getting that set up, getting a couple of pyros, actually a pyro into a freaker. It looks like they're going a bit more defensive than I would expect. While on the other hand, Jasper is oh crap, this is way too darn bright. One sec. <laughs> Did not expect it. Forgot about the fact that this map is really bright. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Get that. There we go. Get a bit more reasonably bright now. Okay. So Jasper going for fleas into Weaver. Going very aggressive. Just trying to see what Rymark is up to. Trying to harass what they can. And with only that pyro there, that's actually pretty effective. Especially if enough fleas get in, the pyros use their friendly... Well, they hit through the units, but they friendly fire. So that ended up being a big problem if they did that. We'll see what that happens though, and Rymark is not really too worried about that at this point. Rymark just going for continued expansion, not really worried about the fleas just running around. And Jasper on the other hand also expanding, although like I said, Jasper is being more aggressive, which makes perfect sense for why they're expanding. Now at this point, Rymark does have that one power over here, being quite defensive, pushing forward, getting the Lotus as well, which is really no problem for defense. In fact, yeah, that's not going to be an issue for building that up. I mean, the flea is not even going to try to stop that. Going straight to the main base once again, and not dealing a whole lot of damage. Getting rid of one wind generator, which is not trivial. I mean, it is 2.2 energy, but at this point, Rymark has such an energy excess, it isn't a big deal. So Rymark continuing to build up more defenses. I, I don't totally agree with this. I mean, on this map, I can sort of see why, because like I said, it is a lot easier for Spiderbot to get around than for Jumpbot Factory. An air or gunship switch within the first five minutes is probably going to happen. I would be surprised if it didn't, to be quite honest. And Rymark... Continuing to get, well, actually continuing to get more workers. So Rymark, okay, now going for now going for their main army, and Jasper on the other hand, continuing to build more constructors because, like I said, they have free reign. Jasper can basically just expand around as much as they like. The fleas know what's going on, and being at their spider bot factory, they have an easy time just getting around all these cliffs. Well, Jasper on the other hand can jump around and can, of course, move around these cliffs. It's a bit slower to do so. So Jasper has to commit quite a bit more. Sorry, Rymark has to commit quite a bit more to actually setting up their units, while Jasper, on the other hand, really does not. There's really not much that forces Jasper to actually have to worry about this at all. So Rymark getting a pretty nice army set up, while Jasper, on the other hand, now just starting to get some Venoms get going. A couple Venoms have, or yeah, one Venom is out, another one's under production, and the main thing is the three Weavers going around the map, giving Jasper. A decent economy, but honestly, Rymark is trying to make up for that with Overdrive and doing a decent job of it. These are like one and a half times metal extractors, so this is an additional three metal for all these extractors together. And Rymark really focused on Overdrive, trying to use that just to take advantage of their more defensive position in order to turn that into resources, while Jasper, on the other hand, going for the more typical expansion out. That's working out quite nicely. Anyway, Jasper is going to be... Well, for dealing with this, there's really not much in the way. Like, there are some static defenses. The Pyro is the big problem. And once the Venoms come in, that actually, I think it's countered by Pyros. If I recall correctly, Venoms basically get countered by Pyros. But it's sort of a numbers game. And at this point, Jasper really not going for any offense. They really are focusing on this expansion attempt. And at this point, Rymark actually might start to make that turn against them. Once Rymark gets a large enough army, they can just sweep around the map, taking out all these undefended expansions. Because this is pretty close to naked... No, this is naked expansion. What am I saying? There are no defenses on this at all. This is a very naked expansion. And if Rymark goes through, they can cast. Ja they can catch Jasper with their pants down, which would turn the game quite around. Jasper at this point with 41 metal, needs to get some caretakers, needs to get probably another factory on top of this. 
like I said, gunship or air factory wouldn't be a bad choice. But yeah, get something here. Get another careta caretakers. Three or four caretakers here wouldn't be a, a miss. And there we go. Two caretakers being built up along with a Stardust, because why not? And Rymark is setting up a Sumo. Yes, like I said, they have to commit, so they might as well commit to the biggest thing possible. And that tells me Rymark is planning to go for a big old sweep around the map, get to Jasper's base, tear it to shreds, get around, tear apart all of Jasper's expansions, although admittedly Jasper has a lot of map control, or at least map presence. Rymark only has the northeast side of the map, and Jasper has pretty much everything else. Like, increasingly so by the minute. Rymark needs to take advantage of the units they have. They do have a mil slight military advantage. Once the sumo is up, this is going to be a much, much, much larger military advantage, but even then, not that much. So Rymark is going to be just... Well, they're going to be pushing in... Anytime now. Anytime that... Well, okay, the sumo still has another minute left. Rymark likely waiting for that. Jasper, on the other hand, not going for any factory switches, surprisingly. They haven't actually built much. They're just focusing entirely on the caretakers, which implies to me that a factory switch is forthcoming, but I don't actually see any evidence of that likely to happen. Eventually, Jasper's going to have to build more units, though. That's the thing. The fleas are not going to be doing too much. The venoms, like I said, kind of a numbers game with the pyros, and there are fewer venoms than pyros. So Jasper's going to lose that game. Jasper is morphing their commander at least a couple times, but even then, not that much. Not really all the where the metal's going. And a crab! Okay, that's where that's where the money would go. Push that into a very quick crab, probably several very quick crabs to get rid of the sumo. I'm a little bit surprised at the fact that Jasper is going from a high mobility position to a very low mobility position with that crab. I just don't know why, because honestly, it's pretty tricky. When you consider that Jasper has a lot of territory that they have to defend, and that Rymar's going to be going around, they do have Stardust now. There are quite a few Stardust being built around the map. Jasper's used pretty much one for every expansion, which is good. That's going to help out a ton. But even with that, that crab is basically only going to project force in a very specific location, and it just so happens that Rymark has put themselves into a very closed-off position. They really don't have a whole lot of territory. Jasper can basically attack anywhere there, and they're already going to be halfway into Rymark's main base. Rymark, on the other hand, can't really attack anywhere too effectively. I mean, they can get rid of these two metal extractors and this weaver, at least quickly enough. But yeah, R Jasper actually, well, no, Jasper's not on radar. Pure line of sight. And actually, now the play has gone for radar. Not a terrible surprise that these hills do make radar difficult to use, but the fact there's no radar whatsoever, I find very shocking. But the pyros are coming in, and that Stardust not yet completed. The weaver won't be able to escape, unfortunately, and with that... That Stardust should be able to take care of at least a couple of the Pyros. Some Venoms coming in here for support. And at the same time, that Sumo has been completed. Actually, a little while ago, kind of think of it. Sumo has been completed a little while ago. The Pyros are moving in and have died. And sorry I missed that, that was kind of dumb. Okay, the Pyros are retreating, have died. It was kind of a foregone conclusion. But actually, another Pyro trying to get in. Will it be able to? No, no it won't. But the Moderator's on top of that. Check Moderator range, that is 420 versus... 410, so the moderators can outrange the Stardust. And the Pyro, you know what? Why not just go around the Stardust entirely and take that out instead? Take out the rest of the expansion through a less obvious route. So at this point, Rymark's pushing pretty hard against Jasper. But at the same time, like I said, Rymark only really has Overdrive to work from. Though, at this point, all their Metal Extractors are counting for double. Admittedly, this Crab coming in here will deal a lot more relative damage than what Rymark is dealing to Jasper with this one Pyro. And that's the first crab shot out. Which is going to take care of this base pretty quickly. Unfortunately, not targeting really the best things. Getting rid of this Lotus, which is good. But not getting rid of the Wind Generator farm. Not getting rid of... I mean, the Wind Generators are right next to each other. Rymark has primed this position for a massive chain reaction. Wind Generators explode. They destroy Wind Generators next to them. As we see right now. That was partly splash damage. But yeah, once those Wind Generators are hit, there's going to be a massive chain reaction destroying most of them. Same time though, Rymar coming in here southwest with another Pyro, gunning past that Lotus. And not much defenses here. So Jasper, like I said, really just leaving that all open. Rymar taking out this entire section. There's no defenses here. All the way into the main base, there are no defenses. Rymar pretty much destroys in Jasper's entire, or at least a large half of Jasper's economy. Jasper hasn't done much relatively to Rymar. Getting rid of a few wind generators here and there, which is good, but it's still not quite enough. Still, 
that that crab is still there. It's still doing very well. Basically unharmed. It has gotten rid of one of the expansions from Rymark. But Rymark actually better lose this pyro. That's going to go down very quickly. Now, on the other hand, Jasper is coming with the moderators. Sorry, Rymark's coming with the moderators. Jasper came in with Recluses and Redbacks. Didn't do much. The crab is going to be decent against this. Needs to stop, though. Rymark needs to make that crab stop, and it is not stopping. It is not getting his armor bonus from being stationary. And that pyro running circles around it. Ah, that crab. Man, that crab's going to go down for nothing, basically. I'm going to try to hit that pyro, but his turret rotation speed is just way too low. Gets rid of the pyro finally, but the moderators finish it off because it is not stopping. There we go. Finally, it's stopping. Jasper will probably still lose it pretty quickly. Gets rid of a couple moderators in the process. At the same time, this crab able to go up here. One of the sumo is going to meet up with it. There is still another sumo, though, that's further south. Using his disruptor beams to try to get rid of the stardust, and what am I saying? Try! Get rid of the stardust outright! Gets rid of it completely. And Rymark basically just projecting all the force they need to rush in. That crab's gone. The crab over the north is doing pretty well, but the sumo has basically the same health. Except it doesn't have to worry about not moving. So the sumo can basically just jump and... I believe it's gonna do... Yeah, it's gonna do exactly that. It can jump, knock the crab out of position, taking out its armor, and that is a big deal. Knocks that crab down to about a quarter of its health, and that sumo is going to survive. Although, admittedly, there are redbacks coming in. They're trying to do what they can for support. But even then, this crab is in a very tight spot. The redbacks, will he be able to deal with this? Looks like maybe. Kind of hard to say, though. The crab is still going to die. That will not be saved. And the redbacks are going to be squashed by that sumo. Oh, all but one goes down, and the last one hits the ground dying. That is a... Big problem, and at this point there has been an air switch. Jasper going for that with the sumo having taken a decent amount of damage as a result. There is another crab being set up, and more crabs on top of this. Crab, Redback, Venom, that, and some Recluse. That is what Jasper's going for. They have lost a lot of their metal, and pushing a lot of the metal into air, getting massive focus on Ravens. Rymark, on the other hand, not even worried about this. Not even getting Archangels, not getting air, just, just letting the Ravens be. There's so much held in the sumo, it barely matters. Honestly, the sumo can still just pretty much charge in. And at this point, the economy's gone down from like 60 each to about 40 each. Though Jasper doing a pretty nice job rebuilding. They have still the southwest side that was just... That was one pyro coming in here that does a lot of damage, but no real map control has changed. So Jasper still has the southwest. They can still rebuild. The south center is basically gone. Rymark has taken that. I mean, the Ravens can take it back if they'd like, but that's not happened so far. Like I said, neither player has radar, so it is entirely line of sight, and I don't think that Rymark has revealed their moderator's existence there too readily. And, ah, bad micro. That was really bad. Like, I think it's control shift attack or something that causes them to actually, or I think it's what causes them to split automatically. But yeah, that wasn't what was done there. That really was not what needed to be done. I think it's, is it control shift attack? I don't know. I can't remember exactly what the, what the exact set of modifier keys is to make it split rather than go in order. Which is a bit of a problem, honestly. That that needs to be looked into. But yeah, the bombers probably just split by default. Or try to avoid overkill in general by default. Anyway, the bombers are coming to get rid of the moderators, which I think is still not split. Although it's they're weak enough, they are going down. However, even then... Actually... Last couple, whoa, last couple of powers coming here. The Venom's avoiding that. Jasper really not paying attention. That's one thing I've noticed about Jasper's play right now is Jasper has let a crab go down here, let the Venom's just go through here. There is the crab to the center, which is where Jasper, I believe, is focused. No, Jasper's now finally focused in the southwest. Or south center. But even then, Rymark has been able to just push through, and Jasper has had a really hard time dealing with that. Like, dealing with the sumos, dealing with general multitasking. I mean, the main base just producing more and more sumos for Rymark, and once again, we're back up to about 60 metal each. And Jasper has decided to continue pumping more into spiders than anything else. Getting yet another crab up. At this point, we have five crabs. Jasper has a lot of crabs, and is doing pretty well with them. Avoiding the main defenses over to the southeast, and instead just going over to the northeast. Rymark not really building much here. They could build a factory. They do have the caretakers for it. That's usually a sign a factory is likely to be built. It's also a sign that reclaim might have been a thing, but oftentimes a factory is up is built next to caretakers being built first. So if there was a factory switch right here, that would not surprise me at all. However, that being said, Jasper's still pushing in pretty hard with his crab. Well, 
Okay, I say that and the crab is stationary, but has been historically pushing in with his crab. Ravens, however, what's coming in here, and they are going to overkill this monitor. Or, well, not quite. They are actually switching targets pretty effectively, but yeah, that... That is going pretty well for Jasper, at least. They are getting rid of several moderators. They are at least doing that. But the Sumos, that's the problem. The Sumos coming in and just stomping on everything. Tearing it all apart. And then Rymark. At the same time, losing the Southeast. Actually, the Crab coming in here and Jasper moving this Crab forward. The moderators have been killed, so the Crab can just move forward with pretty much impunity. Although, the Crab cannot actually see... Oh, can it see the Crab? The Sumo, I don't think it can. I can! Okay, never mind. Yes, I can. Okay, good. For the crab, at least. Where's the crab moving out of the way? Trying to avoid... I mean, the thing is, the sumo does jump. Does stomp things when it jumps. And there, once again, comes... Oh, well, about to say, there comes the jump, but no, not quite. The jump is now ready. This sumo to the northwest is about to jump. The sumo to the south is not dealing with that crab very much, and... Rymark actually resigns. Well, that was surprising. Rymark was starting to get ahead there, but no, apparently Rymark doesn't figure they have a chance and throws in the towel, giving Jasper the game. Bit of a surprise, but then again, Jasper was putting in pretty, pushing in pretty hard with the Ravens and with the Crabs particularly. So that, that was that. The last game for tonight, in just a moment, it will be a game between Ivan D and Orphelius on Vitra going to be on up in just a couple minutes, so stay tuned for that.